What's up guys? Jeremy Kinney here. Well, we're gonna go over some shoulder stuff. Um, basically the idea with this is um, anytime you're going overhead, doing pressing, pulling, all these stuff overhead, snatching, whatever it is, I mean, there's a lot of mobility you can do for that. Um, but these are two basic things that you gotta do to make sure that you can get in the proper position, okay? Um, basically, movement prep, okay? Come on a little bit, Nick, if you can. <clears throat> What we're gonna do is put a band around the pole, okay? Uh, it could be around the around knee height, right about there. That area is fine. Um, so what we're gonna do is put the palm down. All right, we're gonna pull our palm down and we're just gonna step back a little bit. Allow it to just pull that shoulder, okay? 15 seconds. Then we're gonna turn sideways. Let it pull, 15 seconds. And I like to go a little bit farther, wrap it around. 15 seconds. The whole time keeping this palm open, your hand open and that palm, palm down, okay? So we hit that 15 seconds on all three of those. <clears throat> and I like to open it up. Hold up that chest a little bit. Again, the palm's open still. And then after that, come up into this position. Of course, pulling straight back. That palm's straight up now. Lean it forward. <clears throat> it's opening up right here. Oh, 15 seconds again. Come back on this side, Nick. Then we're going to turn away. Just let it pull behind the head. Again, 15 seconds. Okay. It's really simple, but uh, I've had a lot. I have a lot of shoulder issues, or I've had a lot of shoulder issues, and just those movements when Nick and I started doing those daily. Um, or just, you know, anytime we're doing stuff overhead, which is pretty much daily. So you guys, anytime we go overhead, we're using these, those movements. Switch sides, you know, do both sides, um, about 15 seconds on each side. Um, when I go back to my ART guy, I go weekly, and he doesn't even bother with my shoulders because they're, they're, they're staying pretty, pretty loose and pretty, pretty nice, um, nice and soft. Um, if you have extra, if you have stuff that you, that you need to work on, go for it. But that's just stuff that you need to be doing every day. Um, and then also, um, up to upper thoracic stuff. If you have the rumble roller, the big one or the little one, doesn't matter. Even if you have just a regular roller, that's fine too. Basically, we're gonna lay our back on it. <clears throat> Hug ourselves. Roll back up and down. Get nice and loose. A lot of times our, um, our vertebrae will get fused together because we have tight muscles and knots. So really need to open that up, open it up, go back and forth. Just kind of work that whole area. Um, and then I like to go overhead. Work that as well. You'll find a lot of junk back here. But anytime you're going overhead, you've got to do this. You've got to be able to open up that upper thoracic so you can get the proper position. Um, these two things, that band, the, the band stuff, and this, this should, this should be done every time you go overhead. Hug. Uh, if you have some lat issues, go to roll up the lats. We can get on here and go back and forth. but. You can check all that stuff out um, if you have other issues, but those are two basic things we gotta be doing every day, you guys, okay? Keep you loose, make sure we're, we're nice and supple, um, and spread some butter. Later.